Hello, my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to another interesting news. President Muhammadu Buhari on Monday vowed that his administration would do everything humanly possible to unite and keep Nigeria as one indivisible country. Ashwaj Bola Ahmed Tunumbu made this vow during the inaugural speech at the Eagle Square. The newly inaugurated president reminded Nigerians of what former head of state General Akubu Gowan said during the Nigerian Biafra civil war that to keep Nigeria united is a task that must be done. He insisted that as long as the world exists, Nigeria will exist. He said, as the best hope and strong champion of the black race, as a citizen, we declare as one united people. He said, Nigeria will be one united nation that as long as the world exists, Nigeria shall exist. Our former head of state, General Akubu Gowan, has declared that to keep Nigeria one is a task that must be done. If you are young or old, it is a task you must remember, he said. President Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tunumbu who was recently sworn in as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on the 29th day of May 2023 at the Eagle Square at Abuja. President Ashwajubola Ametunubu, who was born in Lagos State into the Martian family of Abibatu Mogaji, the Iyaloja of Lagos State. He is generally accepted in reliable sources to have been born in 1952. This year of this year of birth is sometimes disputed by political opponents who argue that he is much young older. Some reliable says noted that his age has not been verified. Ashwajibulamitunubu attended St. John's Primary School at Aruloya, Lagos before proceeding, proceeding to Children's Home School in Ibadan. He completed undergraduate studies in the United States, first at Richard G. Daly College in Chicago, and then at Chicago State University. He graduated in 1979 with a Bachelor of Science degree in accounting. Tunubu worked for the American companies Otto Anderson Dulit and GTE Services Corporation. After returning to Nigeria in 1983, he joined Mobi Oil Nigeria and later became a company executive. During his eight years as the governor of Lagos State in government, Tunubu initiated new road construction required to meet the needs of the fast growing population of the state. Tunubu, alongside a new deputy governor, Femi Pedro, won re-election into the office of, as governor in April 2003. All other states in the southwest fell to the People's Democratic Party PDP in those elections. It was involved in a struggle with Olusha Gomba Sonjo controlled federal government over whether Lagos State had the right to create new local council development areas (LCDAs) to meet the need of its large population. The controversy led to the federal government seizing funds meant for local councils in the state. During the later part of his term in office, he was engaged in continuous clashes with PDP powers such as Adesha Ugunlewe, a former Lagos State Senator who had become Minister of Works and Body Judge the Southwest Chairman of the PDP. In 2006, Tunubu attempted to persuade the then Vice President of Nigeria, Atuko Abubakar, to become the head of his party, the Action Congress. Abubakar, who was a member of the People's Democratic Party, has recently fallen out with President Orisha Obasanjo over Abubakar's amb- ambition to succeed Obasanjo as President. 
Tinubu offered Atukwa Babaka the chance to switch parties and join the AC, offering him the party presidential candidacy, with the condition that he, Tinubu, would become Atukwa Babaka's running mate. Atukwa Babaka declined the proposition, and having switched to the AC, choosing a running mate from the southeast, Senator Ben, Senator ben Obi. Although Atiku ran for office on the platform of the election, the PDP still won in a landslide. Relations between Tinubu and the Deputy Governor Femi Pedro became increasingly tense after Pedro declared his intention to run for the gubernatorial elections. Pedro com com competed to become the AC candidate for governor of the 2007 election, but he withdrew his name on the eve of the party nomination. He defected to the Labour Party while still keeping his position as deputy governor. Tinubu's tenure as Lagos State Governor ended on the 29th day of May 2007 when his successor, Baba Tsudiraju Fashola, of the Action Congress took office. Taking Nigerian's opinion, Ezik City Boy said the beginning of his failure is to choose fights between with Biafra agitators instead to give them date for referendum. Daniel Eziobi said the unity of Nigeria is like that of water and oil. Modu Paul Tiofilo said Nigeria of wonders. Somebody should remind him that his comments in the past where he said, I don't believe in Nigerian unity. Emmanuel James said he started support for those who promoted and unleashed violent attacks on Igbos in Lagos during the 2023 election as proof that it doesn't mean what he is saying. G. Paul said our view must be respected. Self-determination is a universal human right recognized by Nigeria and the world at large. The richer said Nigeria is one is one is not one and can never be. No one how no matter how you paint it to look whatever you might think, Nigeria is no one. This is the reason why God is punishing you people. You see the truth and fail to say it. All we need is Biafra, nothing else. Thank you. Honorable Williams Monk said marriage is not by force. What happened to the ori to the original body will happen to Tinubu because if he doesn't conduct referendum as soon as possible. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on this like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. Bye for now and I will see you on the next news.